part of the left uh, went to Hitler. Uh, at least in France, part of the socialists went to to became uh, advocates of uh, Hitler. The popular British playwright Bernard Shaw supported Hitler in the mass media. The left supported Hitler not because he deceived them. They knew Hitler would kill. He said he would. In fact, it was why they supported him. You must all know half a dozen people at least who are no use in this world, who are more trouble than they are worth. Just put him there and say, sir or madam, now will you be kind enough to justify your existence? If you can't justify your existence, if you're not pulling your weight in the social boat, if you're not producing as much as you consume, or perhaps a little more, then uh, clearly uh, we cannot use the big organization of our society uh, for the purpose of keeping you alive, because your life does not benefit us, and it can't be of very much use to yourself. Bernard Shaw believed in, the, in um, mass killing by category, not usually by racial category, but by category, you know, the idle, the unfit. Killing off the parasites within society was what Marxian socialism was about. It demanded in a, in a London newspaper that the scientists should devise a humane gas. I appeal to the chemists to discover a humane gas that will kill instantly and painlessly. Deadly by all means, but humane, not cruel. After 10 years, such gas will be discovered. It will be called Cyclone B. The man who oversaw its practical application, Adolf Eichmann, will later testify that thanks to Cyclone B, people in Auschwitz died without pain. Cyclone B was a humane gas. Yes, Eichmann will use the very same words. It must be said, though, that Bernard Shaw, as well as the left in general, fundamentally opposed Nazism. Because Hitler had distorted Marxism beyond recognition. Gassing people based on their nationality was absolutely inexcusable. The selection should be based on class. Hitler got it all wrong. Absolutely different people needed to be killed. The only true Marxist country on earth was the Soviet Union. It exterminated strictly according to Marx's teaching, the class enemies. In general, the process was pretty similar to the extermination of the Jews. First, the victims were ridiculed and publicly humiliated. And then they were killed. Millions of them. If the enemy does not give up, it must be exterminated. Тридцатые годы была заведена вся эта отработана вся эта технология расстрелов и убийств. Значит, практически каждая область, вот административная область, имела свою зону, где значит захоранивали этих расстрелянных. The shooting itself was carried out in prisons. In the basements there were special shooting chambers with concrete walls and with a runnel to channel blood. Человека вели по коридору там в красный уголок, в красном уголке последнее, значит, э, с лечение персональных данных. Он должен был назвать свою фамилию, имя, отчество. Вот потом, значит, его выводили, заводили в эту комнату, и как только он переступал там порог, он получал выстрел в затылок из пистолета. Yes, people were killed by a bullet in the head. Uh... We know that usually they were killed by bunches of, well, um, between 
one hundred and sometimes, well, several hundreds every, well, night. Then the corpses were loaded onto trucks, driven out of towns and buried in nearby forests and parks. This is Bakivana Forest near Kiev. The elderly people will never forget the trucks, which were driving here during the night. Blood was dripping from them en route. Only after 50 years the relatives were allowed to come here. They created this memorial where monuments are trees. Each tree in this forest is banded with a scarf in memory of the innocent victims who were brutally murdered and dumped into mass graves here. Bikivina, Butovo, Leningrad, Vinitsa, Harkov. Mass graves littered the whole country. A whole generation of children lost their parents and became homeless, or so-called besprizonia. Millions of them were begging for bread in the streets of Soviet cities. It was an embarrassing sight, especially if foreign friends came to visit Moscow. And Stalin tackled this problem. Stalin uh, authorized in the middle of the 30s uh, because there was this problem of besprizorny. He authorized the uh, children to be shot from the age of 12. People were being shot um, day and night throughout the biggest country in the world. And Stalin even got to the point of killing people by random, by quarters. It was 